And so after Jesus had set his mind, the story picks up in verse 47. It says, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the 12, suddenly arrived. A large mob with swords and clubs was with him from the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had given them a sign. The one I kiss, he's the one, arrest him. So he went right up to Jesus and said, greetings, rabbi, and kissed him. Friend, Jesus asked him, why have you come? Then they came up, took hold of Jesus and arrested him. At that moment, one of those with Jesus reached out his hand and drew his sword. He struck the high priest's slave and cut off his ear. Then Jesus told him, put your sword back in its place, because all who take up a sword will perish by a sword. Or do you think that I cannot call on my father, and he will provide me at once with more than twelve legions of angels? How, then, would the scriptures be fulfilled that say that it must happen this way? At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, have you come out with swords and clubs? as if I were a criminal, to capture me? Every day I used to sit, teaching in the temple complex and you didn't arrest me. But all this has happened so that the prophetic scriptures would be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and ran away. As I said before, this was something that Jesus had to do alone. For all that his apostles were there for and all he had prepared them to do, this was one way in which they were not ready to follow him. So they all abandoned him.